In this video, we're going to review the benefits of conducting a contribution analysis on your menu. This is a tool to help fine-tune and strengthen your menu profitability. By comparing the sales performance for each individual menu item, we can identify the weak points in our menu profitability. As chefs, cooks, and managers, our goal is not only to serve great food and provide great service but to also ensure that we maximize our sales to generate the most profit possible. After all, we are in business to make a profit. And to do this, we need to make sure our menu is properly priced and as effective as possible. We discuss food cost, and how to determine a selling price based on a targeted food cost percentage for our operation. While a target food cost is a good starting point, a contribution analysis provides us with the information we need to make educated decisions about our business, by ensuring we make the most with every product we sell. What we may discover by conducting an analysis, is that there is room to improve profitability, even if the item is already priced above the targeted food cost percentage. If it costs you $4.85 to produce a meal and you sell it for $17.35, your cost would represent 28% of the selling cost. Contribution or contribution margin is the difference between your selling cost and your raw or variable cost to produce that menu item. In this example, the contribution of this product would be $12.50 for everyone sold. When we compare the contribution of our menu items, we need to look not only at the contribution of a single sale for the item, but the gross margin for a period of sales for that same item. It is possible to have a menu item that produces a lower contribution for a single sale, but contribute more for a period, because of the volume of sales for that particular item. Additionally, it's also possible for an item with a higher food cost percentage to contribute more per sale, than for one with a much lower food cost. By analyzing individual menu item contributions, you may discover that your best-selling menu item is contributing the least, while the slowest-selling item on the menu is contributing more. This information is useful in helping us to refine our menus, and eliminate those items that are slow-moving or producing low contribution margins. Let's take a look at the contribution analysis form, that can be found on the download tab. Please make sure that you click the enable content button if it pops up when you open the form. As always, it's best if you save a copy of the file under a different name once you have completed it. This will allow you to easily reference it, and make updates as needed. When you open the form, you will see two versions of the contribution analysis. The first tab is for the different sections of a menu, where you can compare like products, such as appetizers, salads, and entrees. The second tab is for an operation or location, where all products might be compared as one category. Both forms work exactly the same, and will provide you with the same information. This just makes it easier to compare the performance of like products. Choose the form that works best for your operation, and we'll start by entering the unit information. If you have more than one location, you can enter the name of the location which you are entering information for on the operation line. I recommend including the date that you completed the form, as part of your records. This will be helpful in comparing current data to the data against other periods. In the blank box, you can enter the name of the menu section the products in this group represents. We'll now start entering our menu items on each line. First, enter the name of the menu item. Under price, enter your current selling price for that product. We won't worry about the adjusted price column right now. We'll come back to that once we have the initial information entered. Next, enter the raw or variable cost of producing that menu item. If any paper products are used, enter the cost under the paper column. Since we won't use paper products to package this item, we'll leave this column blank. Under the cost of sales heading, you will now see a food cost percentage. This is the percentage of the selling cost that your raw cost makes up. For weighted average, enter the number sold for this item for a specific period, whether a day, week or month. It will be important that you use the same length of time to compare all your menu items, to get an accurate comparison of the contribution of each product. Once you've entered the number sold, you will see a projected total raw cost associated with making this product. In the next column, you will see the contribution of this item per unit sold, followed by the total contribution, based on the number sold for the period. The per unit contribution of this item is $5.21. This unit contribution should not change, unless there is a change in the selling price, or, variable cost. 
Looking at the total contribution, based on the amount of 155 sold for this menu item, we a total contribution of $807.55 for the period, for this one item. Right now, you can see that the total contribution percentage is 100%. As we add additional items to the analysis, this number will change based on the total contribution for each item. It will calculate the percentage that each item makes up of the total contribution. In the last column, you will see the total revenue for the menu item. You will repeat these steps, until you have the information entered for all of the menu items you are comparing. If you need to add more lines to a section, just click the insert row button, and enter the row number. A new row will be added above that line. If you need to remove a row, just click the delete row button, and enter the row number to delete. Continue entering all of the information for the different sections of the menu. Once all of the information has been entered we'll take a look at the numbers. Now that you have the information entered into the form, let's review the numbers. You can see that the salad with the lowest food cost percentage is the arugula salad at 27% which is well below your targeted food cost percentage of 30%. But when you look at the contribution for each of the salads, you see that the arugula salad also provides the least amount of contribution per item sold. Additionally, because you sold far fewer arugula salads, the contribution from this item only makes up 23% of the total contribution for salad sold. Reviewing the entree section, Again, the entree with the lowest food cost percentage also provides the least amount of per unit contribution. The pasta dish which has a 21% food cost only provides $13 in contribution per item sold, while the filet with a 42% food cost provides $20.15 per item sold in contribution. Assuming that the cost to produce each dish, and the number sold of each remains the same, we can now look at making price adjustments, to see how it will impact our contribution. You decide to increase the selling price of the ribeye to $32. You see that the food cost drops to 32%, and the contribution per item sold increases by $3, giving you an additional $300 in contribution for the week. You then decide that you want to drop the selling cost of the chicken dish to try to sell more of them. You lower the cost to $19, and by doing so, the sales turn red to indicate that you have a reduction in contribution for this item. But, an increase in the number sold for this item may provide you an overall increase in contribution. Once you have all of the information inserted into the form, you can see a total for all items on your menu at the bottom of the page. You will also see on the right-hand side of the form, where you can compare your prices to your competitions. This will help you to determine if you need to increase or decrease prices to stay competitive. By analyzing the information, you can see that a lower food cost may mean more return for that item, but, it may also provide the least amount in contribution. Setting a menu price based on a food cost percentage is a good starting point, but it's the contribution analysis that will tell you the full story of your menu prices.